Today, I want to show you the three plugins for DaVinci Resolve that I use the most, my favorite ones, but also how you can make these plugins or any other plugin for that matter. So how you can make your plugins or animated titles look even better than they already do. Now, the plugins that I'm going to show you are from Motion VFX because I love Motion VFX. I've been using them for as long as I can remember and they asked me to make this video because right now they're having their biggest sale of the year with discounts up to 50% off. So guys, make sure to check out their website. And even if you're too late for these huge discounts, still go check out their website because you know, there's always something going on. You can always buy a great product at a great price. But anyway, Let's start with the first plugin, and it's one that I've been using for years. It's the Cinematic Title Pack M-Title Cinematic, and it's a title pack containing a bunch of super clean, basic cinematic animated titles. And you know, for some of you, they might look a bit too basic, but that's exactly why I recommend it, because that's what makes this pack so versatile. You don't always have to use them in a classic cinematic context, because just changing the font of one of these titles makes them look completely different. See? So they look great as an opener for your cinematic videos, but you can also use them just as an eye catcher in a simple YouTube video, for example. And what a lot of people don't realize is that if you want to give a simple, basic animated title a bit more personality, you can always apply another effect or a video transition to that title. And it's super cool. And you can use literally whatever effect or transition you want. You can use one of DaVinci Resolve's built-in transitions or effects, or a motion VFX transition, or whatever you have installed on your computer. For example, let's say that this is my title that I want to use, right? It looks cool. But when I add a video transition, and all you have to do is go to video transitions, pick one you like, drop it on the title, and boom. And all of a sudden, you get this. So you're taking your simple, basic animate the title to the next level by just applying a video transition, but also applying an effect works. For example, you can make this basic simple title look like this. So you know, you can easily tweak and customize a simple basic title pack in such a way that you can use it for all kinds of videos. Okay, and then the second plugin or effect that I use in my videos all the time is one of those retro analog film look effects. And Motion VFX has a few different ones. The one I've been using for the longest time is the M16 millimeter effect or plugin, but there's also some newer packs like M Style 8 millimeter and M Style VCR. If you want more of a, you know, 80s or 90s look, or M Analog is a new one. But the thing is, I like these effects with different frames and looks because they always come in handy to tell a story, you know? It's fun to use when you're telling a story. And here's an important tip for when you're using effects like this. So look, some of these plugins also have titles, right? But some don't, they're just effects. And so what most people do when they want to use a title to go with these effects is that they just drop an effect on a clip and then a title on top, right? And then you get this, for example, it looks like this. But the problem now is that, you know, it looks a bit off. The title looks too clean, like it's not part of the whole the whole vibe you're going for. So usually it's better to first apply that effect to an adjustment layer on top of your video clip and then put your animated title also underneath that adjustment clip with the effect. And then whatever title you use, even if it looks a bit more modern, it will blend in a lot better because it also gets that effect. You know what I mean? It's part of the look now and it doesn't look so like pasted on top. And I do this not only when I'm using motion VFX effects, but also DaVinci Resolve built-in effects. The film look creator, for example. I usually apply it to an adjustment clip, and then whenever I use a title, I put the title underneath that adjustment clip so that it gets the same color treatment. And see, this is the difference, putting it underneath that adjustment clip or on top of everything. Then it looks like it's, yeah, like it's pasted on top. Okay, and then the last plugin, or it's more like a group of plugins I want to show you is something like M measurements, for example. But it's basically a plugin that allows you to add technical information to your videos. I use M measurements and M science quite a lot because again, you can very easily customize them, but there's also M high tech or M presentation. Like it depends a bit on what you're looking for, right? But what I actually want to show you is that you can use pretty much any animated title or animation also as a tracked callout. So 
you probably all know how to track the movement of an object, right? And then you can stick text to that object. Well, instead of using static text, you can also use an animated title or a motion graphic. I'll link the full tutorial in the description, but the important thing you have to remember is that if you want to do this, if you want to use an animation with tracking, you have to convert the video clip that you're using first to a fusion clip. So just right click on the video clip and convert it to a fusion clip and then do all of your tracking. Because if you don't do this, then Resolve won't show the animation. It will show your animated title as a static title. So convert it to a fusion clip first. But this way you can turn a basic animated title pack, even like the one I showed you at the beginning, the M title cinematic, you can turn it into a call out pack. Because I know that, especially when there's no discounts going on, buying different packs, different plugins, it's expensive. But with these tips and tricks, you can make the simplest basic plugin super versatile. So I hope it helps. I hope it inspires you to try out some things. Uh, definitely go check out Motion VFX because the discounts are going on right now. Maybe today is the last day to get these huge discounts. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.